I was absolutely over the moon when I was nominated for the STEM Ambassador Award. To be recognised for that was absolutely fantastic. I chose to become a STEM Ambassador when I first joined the company and one of the things that I noticed was, first of all, the gender gap within engineering. So you could be working in teams where you're one of the only women in the room and that really stood out to me. Um, but also the skills gap, you do notice that there aren't many young people in engineering and we have got a bit of an ageing workforce across the industry and so I felt that being a STEM ambassador would give me a chance to do my bit towards changing that. I think the project that I'm most proud of is the GEng project which stands for Guides in Engineering. Um, as part of that we've created the first ever engineering challenge badge for girl guiding and to date it's been completed 9,028 times. What sets me apart in some of the STEM projects Projects that I've worked on is my personal belief in some of the messages that we're trying to send to young people. So it's something that I really believe in and I wish that someone had come and spoken to me about this when I was younger. When I found out I was nominated for the STEM Ambassador Award I was over the moon. I'm such a privilege to be nominated for such a prestigious award. What I've enjoyed the most about being a STEM Ambassador is being able to reach out to thousands of young children and adults and educate them about engineering, science and help them to learn more about what my job is and what they could do if they chose to pursue a STEM career. The project I'm most proud of is the GEng project which has engaged with over 9,000 girls for our activity pack and encouraged them to learn more about famous female engineers and the different types of engineering there are out there. I've gone into six form schools in Barrow and Olverston and delivered nuclear related presentations that have helped to explain what the nuclear sector is and the applications of nuclear power. I think the most challenging part of trying to promote STEM is the fact that many children don't believe that they have the capability to succeed in this field. I think that I'm determined to be a positive role model to lots of children and young people and I just want to educate people about what jobs are out there for them within STEM and that they can do anything they want to and there shouldn't be any limitations on what they want to do.